And guess how many of them would be rushing to get on a plane to come to another country and take care of their American husbands? And be careful once they get here. They might actually get the chance that they deserve. Don't let those passports expire, guys. Why would you get married if you don't, if you want to have just one partner when you can have multiple? Multiple. Multiple. What are you saying? Why are you guys so dense and stupid? It makes no sense. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. I'm not going to hold you. Let's get right into it. If you get married, you have to be stuck with this person for the rest of your life, right? But you get married. So that's why it's declining. Why would you get married if you don't, if you want to have just one partner when you multiple? Multiple. Multiple. What? Man, this is the dating pool we have left, guys. That's why the marriage rates are declining. Did you hear what she just said? Come on, man. Yeah, because if you get married, you have to just be with one person, right? So guys don't want to do that. So oh, not guys. She didn't say guys. People don't want to do that. I said, why would you get married? She feels like that as well. She's young, having fun, right? Bunny hopping all over the place. Until that bunny kicker, until that leg start giving out. It happens around 30 years old. That leg don't get all given out. She can't hop the same as she, she used to. Let me get into what this guy has to say. If you get married, you have to be stuck with this person for the rest of your life, right? That's why you get married. So that's stuck. Are you dead? Ass? What joke? So you meant to say stuck in a marriage. You don't want to be married, right? I see what you're saying. See, this is why you got a lot of American men watching this video and they get f***ed up. Same thing for my home country in Canada too. They're not going to f*** America. It's gotten worse in the marriage in the United States. When I say 90% educated woman of following you for us, that's what's going to happen in the future. This is the reason why American men are not going to marry American women. When y'all keep acting the same way over and over, like the society is a failed system. That's what we're living in right now. That's why a lot of American men are getting screwed over in American marriage. That's why we go overseas and marry and date a beautiful traditional woman who's more feminine than the Western woman. This is going to be every message to every young man right now. And I'm going to keep it 100%. When you're in college, in your 20s, and you see the video like that, get your passport. Please do. And you heard it from him, and I feel the same way as well. The only thing I say to guys that get the passport and travel, you have to understand. When you leave, right, you're going to find women that are traditional. But remember, most women in the world are modern traditional, meaning... They're going to still listen to the same music. They may even still hear the same talk. There's modern woman everywhere. Remember that. But this is the thing. It's a better percentage. I've been saying it for so many years while I was here in the Philippines, right? You have a better chance. So you will still find women that are just like this woman here in other places. But are you in favor? Yes. Because in a lot of places, they don't believe in divorce. Where I am right now, you can't even get divorced. But it's true, man. Guys are seeing these messages and they're saying, what's the solution? This is the way. Next video. I swear Kevin Samuels followers are some of the dumbest people on this earth. 
You still don't realize that you are threatening us with a good time. Read the Psychology Today article. Why many single women without children are so happy. Single women without children are often happier and healthier than men and married women and children. Single women are happier than married women. And you know what's crazy, right? You know they write a lot of these articles to keep women contained, to keep them okay with the way things are. See, it's an agenda happening. And whatever can keep that agenda going and going and going until it's too late, that's what's going to happen. And a lot of women are being led astray and keep being pulled further and further down a rabbit hole when it's really a trap. It's a trap in a foxhole waiting to get you. And this is not ready for the slaughter. But anyway, it's going to keep happening. Let me see what else she has to say. Single women are happier than men. What are you saying? Why are you guys so dense and stupid? It makes no sense. How to get a guy to approach you at a bar. This idea came to me because I realized that staring at a guy or making eye contact wasn't enough to make him approach. So me and my friends, shout out to Kayla and Kwanj, we came up with the Great Gatsby Method. Okay, we know it well, Leo DeCap. This is what we are emulating. When you're making your eye contact, you do a little cheers. You can then take your drink back. You can keep eye contact, take a little sip. Make it your own. Make the Great Gatsby method your own. And why we like it is because it's not, it's more than staring. It's like an action. It's addressing this person directly, but it's not quite as aggressive as like a come here. So this is what they're going to all resort to continuously. There's actually no such thing as traditional values. What we call traditional values are patriarchal values, and the patriarchy has only been around for about 4,000 years. That's a blip. So she said what we call traditional values or patriarchal values? In human history. Obviously, it seems hella long to the women in it, but it's very short compared to how long we've been around. So those aren't traditional in any sense of the word. Those are just values that the patriarchy chose and defined and voiced it upon everyone else. So what we're really talking about here is men choosing to go to other cultures where patriarchal values are even stronger than they are in America, which is saying a lot, where women have less agency, less choice, less ability to make something of their own lives as independent women. So yeah, an American white man at the top of the food chain who offers money in exchange for a total subservience sounds like a really good deal to some of them. Liar! But let's not forget that this is exploitative and it's a transaction. The passport bros on this app love to tell me that their overseas wives are their best friends, despite the fact that most of them don't participate in any of their wives' cultures. Stop the cap! Don't speak their wives' languages. And they conveniently ignore the alternate universe that might have existed for these women. What would they have chosen if they had more financial agency? What would they have chosen if they had the ability to pursue an independent life for themselves? Are they with you because they're your best friend and they love you so much? Or because that was simply the best option that was available to them? If they had the opportunities that American women had, guess what? You'd probably find them just as toxic as you find the rest of us. Because if there's one traditional value that we all share, it's the desire to be free, to live our lives according to what we want. Remove the systems of oppression in the world and see what happens to women. See what kind of lives they make for themselves. And guess how many of them would be rushing to get on a plane to come to another country and take care of their American husbands. And be careful once they get here, they might actually get the chance that they deserve. Don't let those passports expire, guys. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. This woman has been brainwashed for so long by the agenda that was put in front of her. It's damaging. It, it's sad in a way, right? It's very sad. This woman is well over the hill, very deeply aged. And talking about women being like them, what she has to understand is they weren't raised that way. Now, you do have some. Don't get me wrong. You come out here to the Philippines or other countries and get taken advantage of a woman, too. You see it happening on COC, right? 
guys still can't be fools no matter where you go and i said it early in the video no matter where you go women know how pergamy is women are always looking for an advantage so you still have to be on guard and the guys need to know just because they step out of america doesn't mean it's going to be all sunshine and roses you will have women that think like her outside and once you used to seeing this though i think you're very well prepared but you have to kind of had some dealings and experience with american women if you had experience with american oh man you could definitely handle these women so you do kind of guy that's gonna be fine and a lot of guys have that's what they're leaving so this is just sad though but with that being said guys you already know it's definitely more to life than dealing with women like this and we're just saying reva dirty peace see you next video